Hello, everybody. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay. Do not disturb. Yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> cool. Hello, everybody. Hi. Everybody, come in, come in, come in. Good to see you, good to see you. It's very cold. Ah, me too. I'm feeling very tired and over it and <laughs> over it. I would love a snowstorm right now. But no. We're good. Welcome! First time here. That's great. Oh, Whiskey and Lemon, I missed your... I missed your thing. I didn't read what you said. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Whiskey and Lemon. That's... Man. Let's try to just... I don't know what we're going to try to do today. I just want to forget about everything. <laughs> uh, but welcome. Thank you guys for coming. I am probably just going to stay in my sweats until... Well, I can't because I have work tomorrow. I just want to just not do anything for like 72 hours. Oh, welcome you guys. Great. Hello, hello. I have a nice candle lit, so that nice like flickering light. It's nice and moody. We can do affirmations today. Let's do affirmations today. Let's do that. Actually, give me a second. Let me. Let us do that. Let us do that, because I think that's really smart of us to do right now. These are old glasses, but uh, I lost them for a few days. <laughs> the scent of the candle is Santorini. Uh, the top note is Mediterranean fig. The middle note is red currant, and the base is amber and sandalwood. And it's made by Brooklyn Candle Studio here in New York. Um, so let's do some affirmations. I don't think I need to write these down. I don't know why I got my notebook. Okay, everybody. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I have just straight up tequila in this. I need it. I don't know about you guys, but my brain just feels like it goes in a really good high, like a really high high, and then a really low low, and then like a ooh, and then a really high high. It's just like, ah. Uh, but let's try to find a way today to focus on where we can send the energy based on off where we're holding it. So yes, tequila. There's a place around the corner that has this cute little bar that you can take things away. And so you took me there today, which is really nice. Whoa, Abby Witt is living my dream right now. Drinking champagne and sitting in a bath. You love to see it. Um, Awesome, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for everybody who's new for taking the time today for yourself. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of us, including me, maybe I should get this on because I actually can't see today for some reason. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of us are, are just feeling really drained and really just freaking tired and there's been lots of ups and downs and there's been lots of just like days where I feel like I just can't get out of the funk. And I feel like we're especially susceptible to everyone else's energies and moods and vibes and social media is just draining me at the moment, but it also makes me feel connected. So it's like, how do I 
um, find a middle ground. So let's find a way today. Oh, my hip just popped. Oh, actually, can you hear that? Oh, wait, maybe this. Ah, oh, maybe go back. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, um, take this singing bowl out. Yeah, just been a little, I just don't understand. I, we are also in the middle of a retrograde. Um, I'm not so, I'm not actually very, I'm not completely educated on, um, yeah, sorry, um, on retrogrades and stuff like that. And just to, I said this before every meditation, I am not a licensed meditation leader. I just do it because I know it makes me feel good. Um, so... Right. Oh, uh, Francia Baguette. Great name. Um, the Amadeo Project is a podcast I created. I haven't uploaded any new ones yet because I am lazy and doing other stuff. Um, but this pod, the Amadeo Project podcast is on Apple. It's on um, Spotify. So you can find it on there. There are two seasons. Um, well, one and a half kind of. Um, but yeah, you can go check that out. I will also, the, this is just the Instagram page for the Amadeo Project where I've been saying, saving all of these meditations that we've been doing just as a way for us to feel uh, um, connected with ourselves and with each other because sometimes it's nice to know that like, oh, I'm not the only one feeling like, like doo-doo, so let's all feel better together. So, I don't think I will do a house tour just because where I live, I don't want anyone to see the view, if you know what I mean. It's kind of a little weird. And also like, it's not clean because like, I don't have fucking time for that. And also like, I live with somebody else and it's, I don't know, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. When I lived by myself, yeah, that was totally a thing. But um. I have gotten my laptop fixed. I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm, I'm juggling maybe five different projects right now that are draining me. And uh, I don't really feel inspired to create new content quite yet on the Amadeo project, but it will come soon when I'm ready. Um, so today, uh, I just want us to just really get in our bodies. We're gonna do a lot of deep breathing. We're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna try to lead you guys through a lot of really detailed visualizations so that we can really feel like we're sinking into this feeling um and yes i say if you're somewhere where you're comfortable um be sitting down crisscross applesauce i tend because i'm right-handed i tend to have my right foot on um over my left but i feel like we should have it i would just say switch it up a little bit if you are sitting in your bed like i would say lie on your back relax your arms relax your legs not so much that you're like in a stiff plank position but just so you're nice and relaxed and lying down or for those of you who are weird and just want a little bit of, I'm not saying weird, that's funny, but I would probably do this too if I had the right angle, just to sit with your back straight up against a wall and just letting your feet, uh, your legs, uh, sit comfortably in front of you and just having your arms just next to you. There's not really a position unless um, you're really feeling like, I want a nice stretch or I want to just relax, I want to feel like I'm going to sleep, regardless, whatever makes you feel comfortable. But um. I guess when you guys are ready, let's just, before we close our eyes and really get into that into the space of uh, reconnection with ourselves, let's just roll our wrists around. Choose one direction, we'll do this for a few seconds. Wow, that is just crackling, crackling. And then the other way. Oh, you hear that? Oh my God. That's just gross. Nice. Now, let's just push, puff our chest up and put our head back. Almost like a sitting cat cow, like in yoga. And then rounding the spine, concaving the stomach, really stretching out that upper back and shoulders where we just carry so much tension. Just doing that nice cat cow. Angry cat, happy cat, angry cat, happy cat. And when you look up, almost picture that picture that your head's creating a nice arch. So that rather than crunching your shoulders and your neck, you're really creating that arch so that we really get the full stretch in the back and in the neck. Nice, do a few more of those. Just so that we're not just making our body stand still after moving all day. Right, and then rolling our head to the left. Nice and easy. Try to focus on keeping your shoulders nice and level rather than making your shoulders follow your neck. It's, that'll allow it to get it the full extension, the full stretch. 
But man, I don't know what is wrong with me. I am so crunchy. I feel like the second I get stressed over something, I immediately get crunchy. And then the other way, rolling to the right, nice and gentle. And then reaching your hands up to the sky. Psh, hello. Clasping your fingers like that and just reaching up to the sky. Really feeling that nice upper chest stretch. Oh my god, I'm so tight. Man, my neck was like. <laughs> and right now, oh my god, that's a nice arch. If you can do a nice arch, that's, that's quite nice. Also for the lat area. Now give yourself a nice straight spine and while keeping your right hip on the floor, we're just gonna stretch a little bit to the left, keeping your right hip on the floor so that you really get a little bit of a core exercise as well as stretching out that right side of your body. Nice. And then to the left, or to the right, sorry, keeping your left hip bone on the floor. So we get that push and pull, that nice resistance that gives us a nice stretch. Nice, cool. I think we're ready. My body just said, go to the chiropractor. Uh, anything that'll help. All right, everybody. So when you're ready, getting into our deep breaths, really wanting to become aware of how restrictive we are with our breaths. How much do we give ourselves? How much do we not give ourselves? I am just literally all over the place in my English today. All right. Just go ahead and whenever you're ready, close your eyes in whatever position you're in. This practice, I just want this one today just to feel like a nice sigh of relief and release. As you close your eyes and start to become familiar with this darkness, so I should probably say, Focusing on how tightly you're closing your eyes. Just nice and relaxed. We don't want to force our bodies to do anything. Making sure that the frowny line in between your eyebrows is gone. If you need to touch it with your finger to see if you're scrunching. Nice. Releasing your tongue from the top of your mouth. So you can really give your mouth that nice big open breath. Reconnecting with your spine. If you're lying down, really starting to feel every vertebra in your spine just melting a little bit more into the surface in which you're lying on with each inhale and exhale. If you're up against the wall in a 90 degree angle, just almost picturing your spine start to feel nice and strong in that position, as well as if you're in crisscross applesauce position making sure that our palms are facing towards the sky so that we can receive any blessing and any lesson and any reminder and affirmation we give ourselves in this time. And making sure that we're connecting with our breath. Some of us do really well breathing in through the nose and out through the nose or in through the mouth, out through the mouth or in through the nose, out through the mouth. So whatever suits you with this practice, it is your choice throughout the whole practice today. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Thank you, Sirens, thank you. This is New York. This is New York. <sighs> Challenging yourself to almost fill your chest up to the point where it maybe even starts to hurt in your inhale. Like you can't hold any more air. And then you do a little bit more and a little bit more and then you release out. Everything's nice and released. God, those sirens are loud. Relaxing the muscles in your face. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your arms, letting your shoulders start to really melt down so that everything is becoming relaxed. Beautiful, you guys. This will be a nice, easy, lovely, short one today. I feel like a lot of us right now are just completely overwhelmed but have decided to take the path of least resistance to their emotions and just kind of fake being okay. <laughs> I know I've been doing that at times, um, but just know that that's totally normal. We're going through so much right now as a people and you should not ever feel forced at all 
to hide what you're really feeling. So whatever physical or mental or emotional or psychological stress you feel becoming more aware in your body right now or even fading away, just know that you're not alone in that. Everyone's carrying some type of baggage and we're all just trying to get through our day in a way that reminds us of how strong we are, how blessed we are, and how able-bodied we are. It's important to remember. Be aware if, you're, if you have a tendency to hold your breath. I know I do sometimes. I hold my breath and then I'm like, why am I out of breath? It's because I'm not actually breathing. We want everything to feel almost as if somebody's dumped a whole bucket of honey on your head and as it drips down and hits every part of your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, every muscle and surface area it touches, this honey, this thick honey, just creates a sort of softness and stillness and gentle strength over your body and stillness. Let's find the sweetness and stillness today. It's important to do so because our brains work so quickly. And from what I know about meditation, it's not about shutting your brain off. It's actually just about learning what parts to activate and deactivate and what parts require attention and what parts we have to recognize as just noise that we've just subconsciously allowed to become a huge problem in our day or a huge stressor point in our day. I don't believe that meditation is a moment to clear your mind. Your mind will never be clear. I think that's a, you know, unreachable goal. Beautiful, you guys. Just really becoming one in yourself right now. Allowing the pressure points in which you're touching the earth to start really sinking in. If you're sitting on the floor, crisscross applesauce, or with your back against the wall, we really start to feel our butt bones start sinking into the ground. That we're becoming one with mom and nature, and that ultimately we're protected. And same if you're lying on your back, your whole body, every part of your body that's coming in contact with the, with the ground or with a uh, hard surface or soft surface almost feels like you're floating on water with your back on water. The sweetness and stillness. And throughout this meditation today, I actually want to challenge all of us to verbally and vocally repeat these affirmations out loud because it's one thing to think of something, but to say it out loud gives it so much more power. Just in the same way, of, you know, of us thinking something so badly about ourselves. And the second we speak it and we continue to speak it over and over and over again, all of a sudden it becomes a truth. And we don't ever question if it's a truth. We just wonder if everyone else thinks the same thing. So. <sighs> Start to give your breath almost a number. So that if your inhale ends at the number six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then your exhale becomes six. One. It's a good way to find a nice balance in your breath. Just finding your own unique number. No rush, just no right or wrong answer. As we continue, each of us on our individual journeys of inner strength, inner voice, inner confidence, inner peace, we also have to remember that these qualities, these traits, these characteristics, these aren't tools in a toolbox that you know we hide away unless we really need it. 
These are also surface level strengths. These aren't, I used it once, so I've exhausted that tool. These are constant tools that we always have available for us. Things that make us strong. The repetition of using these tools over and over again, I know is taxing, but they never go away. We can never abuse these tools. We can never overuse these tools. We can never hide these tools away or give them away. They're always available to us. So we should feel strong and confident enough to use them whenever we see fit. A lot of life is living but a lot of life is also surviving. In moments like this pandemic, in moments like getting triggered by trauma, a lot of it is surviving. That is a huge part of living. But if we picture it surviving as my back against the wall, it feels a lot more dangerous Let's give ourselves the most amount of tools that we can use in our daily practice, in our daily lives. Almost like an influx in tools. If you were being cornered by demons or shadows and you had one tool, if you weren't giving yourself access to all the inner tools that you had, you might feel completely overwhelmed and your response might just to be, hands up, I surrender. But if you had an overwhelming reminder that the tools you have are constant and are ever so powerful for you to use, then you might start seeing survival then as, this is my fight time. We all go through these different stages. Survival might also be seen as like rock bottom. I'm coasting the floor of the ocean, you know, that kind of, I have nothing. I don't know how I'm going from day to day. You're not alone in that. You're not alone in feeling like that. But humans are so beautifully layered and have so much rich history to each part of themselves. They have a, we all have such rich pasts, rich presents, rich futures. Our story, I don't know if you guys believe if it's already written for you or if you're in control, you have complete control to write it yourself, but regardless, we have all the tools we will ever need and thankfully, we gain new tools on the journey. So if those tools are constant for you, then they're also available to you when you reach your bottom. Being on the bottom doesn't make you weak. It just means maybe perhaps that you have something to learn which is tough. I want you guys to start imagining almost a clone of yourself in front of you. Feeling that almost psychic vision of seeing yourself now in this meditative state, in whatever position you're in, in whatever mood you're in, in whatever environment you're in, that that clone version of you is looking right at you. And you're looking right at it, that's you. A little more powerful than a reflection, flesh and bone a three-dimensional entity. You're looking at yourself, essentially. 
and I want you to look at yourself. Eyes closed, of course, figuratively. <laughs> I want you to look at yourself and acknowledge, just for a second, I'm here today. I'm here today. We've been through some stuff. We've been through a lot together. And as we go down this, these lists, this, these, this list, I'm sorry, of affirmations, if you wanna repeat them out loud, whisper them, say them almost like a prayer, whatever makes you feel stronger. But let this be a moment of genuinely seeing yourself. in this current state. Meet yourself where you are. And let's reaffirm ourselves. I am here. I am strong. I know what my strengths are. Look how far you've come. Look what you've accomplished. Look at all of the lessons you've learned. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You don't know how beautiful you are, but maybe one day you will. You are healing. You are still learning. You are learning how to love yourself. I will always be there for you. I will keep you accountable. I will hold you responsible. I will guard your heart fiercely. I will experience so many things. I am powerful. I am so much more than the lies I tell myself. Say that one again. I am so much more than the lies I tell myself. I am ready to continue my journey. You are beautiful. That's great, guys. 
feeling that almost spiritual weight sitting in the palm of your hands of how much power you genuinely hold in your hands. That you hold your past, you hold your present. You hold the world in your hands. Every feeling, every experience, every memory, every emotion you hold in your hands. That makes you so powerful and able. That power is so much more than the lies you tell yourself because they're lies. If it's not accountability, it's a lie. And if that's the hardest thing you take away from this meditation, that's a big one, but a good one. There's a difference between keeping yourself accountable and self-criticizing yourself so much you sabotage your will to grow. Feel the heaviness on the palms of your hand. Feel the tiny stresses of today just wash away. And in this stone-like presence and essence of your human, of who you are. This feeling is your constant. This strength is a tool that will never leave you. Beautiful, you guys. Keep breathing, finding that through line with your breath, connecting with this almost projection of you, feeling the power in your hands. I'll say that one line again. If it's not accountability, it's a lie. Saying you are ugly is a lie. You know the difference deep down between your accountability conversations and your self-sabotage. And like what feels like two stories heavy stones in your hands. Let those stones, let that power crush those lies. Crush them, obliterate them, turn them into dust. That is your power. When you guys are ready, bringing the right hand gently, holding this power still, the heaviness in your palms as slowly as you could possibly move your right hand, your right open palm to your heart. Feeling your flesh beneath your hand. putting that power back into your body. Feeling that strong connection, that undeniable force. And now with your left hand, slowly as you can, moving the power, that heaviness in your left hand to your third eye on your forehead to your brain, to 
to remind your brain that it is connected to the cosmos. Make it not of this world so that we can quickly ignore the falsities and lies that are surface. Let this power obliterate those lies and let this strength keep you accountable to continue to practice this type of love for yourself and for the people around you. Feeling that connection and letting this moment just course through your body. Remembering to breathe, finding that through line. Beautiful. Beautiful, you guys. Now when you're ready, just slowly, slowly bringing both hands over your stomach. Feeling the warmth of your hands over your belly. And let's say this together out loud as our final affirmation of today. This is my power. This is my power. This is my power. Let's just take one more inhale together as a group, in through the nose, and out, open mouth. One more, let's do one more. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Beautiful work, you guys. Slowly release your hands away from your stomach. Wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Bringing life back into the face, life back into the muscles. And before you open your eyes, just tilt your head 45 degrees up towards the ceiling. Or if you're lying down, just stay where you are. Just so we acknowledge the sky above, almost like we look to our higher self as we watch the projection that we've made of ourselves in front of ourselves here in this physical realm, up into the sky where our guardian angel or our higher self is. Just acknowledging their presence and saying thank you in whatever way you need to. Thank you. And when you're ready, just open your eyes. When you're ready, no need to rush. No singing bowl today, too. I didn't feel like it was appropriate. Very nice, everyone. Very nice. Very good work. Lovely, lovely. Beautiful. Now, I know I normally choose someone for these cards, but let's see if we can find one that just connects us all together right now so that it doesn't feel like it's singled out to someone. You see? Okay, so I'm on this. Become aware of all your feelings in this moment, both physical and emotional. So in this moment, after that meditation, become aware of all your feelings in this moment, both physical and emotional. With a little sun, that's beautiful. So how do you feel? How do you guys feel? I mean, obviously you don't have to tell me, but you can just tell yourself. <laughs> I feel good, baby. I feel great. 
Yeah, yeah. I think what really annoys me is when people are like, don't be stressed. And it's like, well, like, sometimes my feet are asleep. Sometimes stress, honestly, is just like, it's kind of inevitable being a human. But at the same time, we can, we can control it a lot more than we think. At least a reaction, like allowing ourselves to be stressed and stay stressed to the point where we start to feel depressed. These cards are from um, Amaya's, Amaya's Realm. I need to learn how to name right. But um, that is oh, stress is information. There's no way you're gonna live your life without feeling stressed. It's a, it's a, it's a normal reaction to life, especially now. But if we can do anything for ourselves to alleviate some of it or most of it or all of it, why not do that for ourselves, huh? So thank you guys. I wish I could stay and chat, but I have to go do more work after a day of work. But I love you all. I hope you guys had um, a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a, wonder a wonderful evening. And yeah, this will be saved on the Amadeo Project's uh, Instagram page. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I love you all and enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, bye everybody.